ball right there. Yep. Okay. Um, she's been complaining of a headache for a couple of days. And uh, why does she have the shunt in place already? Why does she have the shunt? Um, that took a tumor out of her head. Okay, she had an astrocytoma. Okay. So she became altered today? Yeah. She was un unresponsive to you? This okay. Morning, yeah. Yeah, so on the CT scan, it's like she has major hydrocephalus going on in there. So they're going to tap the shunt, and the neurosurgery doc here is going to be doing that. Are you okay, Mama? I can hold her head at this bother. Daniel, why don't you do that? Just, just, because I, I don't want Mom to be in the position of having to. Yeah, I'm a little shaky. I don't think yeah. I'm Yeah, now. You can just sit, sit right here and talk to her, and she can probably hear you. Absolutely. You sing her a song or something that she likes. Don't ask Danny to sing a song. Yeah, right? yeah people ask me not to sing. <laughs> Try not to cover, especially for the kids, their face. So what was your goal on the procedure? Right now, the goal is to see if we can get any fluid to come out from the shunt itself to see if the proximal portion of the catheter is working. So it, when you when you put a needle in here and, and, it, and, it, um, and, and you, you don't get any fluid out, that like would suggest you... That was the suggestion of, of a shunt, proximal shunt malfunction. Well, are you okay? Okay. What do you see more yeah, often, proximal right shunt away. malfunctions or the distal? Um, I would say it's fairly even. 50-50? Mm -hmm. I know. I'm holding your hands, aren't I? Yeah. I'd say often when they get this sick, this fast, it's proximal. Okay. But and what you feel for the bulb? The reservoir part, okay. which is the soft and squishy part. If you stick the needle straight in, typically you should have fluid that comes out spontaneously. I don't see anything flowing. So occasionally if you get it started with a syringe, you don't want to necessarily pull it too hard. And I'm not getting yeah. much. There's some of the tube, but it's definitely not coming out. Okay, okay, okay. So this is suggested a proximal shunt malfunction then? Yes. And right now I'm just going to see if I can get a little bit just to send for What would be your culture. advice to emergency docs who are operating in a uh, small ED um, miles away from a neurosurgeon? Um, when should they not do this or when should they do this? Um, I, I would say probably the, really, I would do it under the direction of a neurosurgeon uh -huh. because somebody may have to take responsibility for that and occasionally it can cause an airlock and or an infected shot. Uh-huh, yes. So we don't normally do these until we kind of... Are, are pushed to the limit. Well, until we're fairly certain. Yeah, you're done. Well done, done, sweetie. Um, Good job. Uh, you know, typically we kind of know the answer when we do that. A lot yeah. of times we like to get a little bit of fluid like I did uh, for to send for a gram stain and culture at uh -huh. least. And then in the event that we did get fluid flowing spontaneously, we would check the pressure okay. with, with a manometer. Okay. And we at, have used the manometer there. Yeah. To check that, to see where the pressure is. Uh, and then, then we also would check for what's called distal runoff, um, which is kind of hard to do with as little fluid as we had there, especially because right. we had to aspirate it. So would you would you purposely drain some fluid if it was draining out? If it would come out and it looked like she had hydrocephalus, yes, you can do that to temporize it. To temporize, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, in her case, it I couldn't. I got very little to come. Right. So the next step with her is to the operating room. Uh, either that or um, you can also do a ventriculostomy or an EVD. Okay. Which may be what happens tonight. Okay. So right now she's she doesn't wake up. She moves around, does some purpose, she responds to pain, she'll complain a little bit. But I was sticking her with needles earlier and she just didn't move at all. It's like she yeah. didn't feel it. Yeah. Yeah, when they put the IV in, she didn't respond to that. So, yeah, so, so we have some concerns, you know, that... Um, like it, we, you, you and I talked, we might have to put it doing, you know, take control of her airway or something like that if we have to. So. No, no, leave that on. So she got a little discontinued gaze. Okay, there's that.
So pupils are equal. So and hard. Active. Earlier when I came in, her left eye was pointing over towards the left. Mm -hmm. And her right eye was straight ahead. So, so it was really just Yeah.